you, you, you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Let's discover hard couple months, but it's this, this, this is nothing you can know what's up in the hood. Not today. Morning, babe. Mm, you look hungover. You need a beer. Here. Take it. Where do you think you're going? You need breakfast. I'll make it for you. Stay here? Here, I made you your favorite. Ignore it, it's probably just Jehovah's Witnesses or something. You need to eat. Mm -mm. You need to eat first before you do anything today. Sweetie, your phone must be broken. None of my calls are going through, and you don't seem to answer any of your texts. This place is a mess. How do you live like this? You know, you'd feel a lot better about yourself if you actually cleaned up your place. Jesus Christ, what are you eating? You know, you should have come to church with me this morning. That's why I called you, but you can't seem to wake up before noon. You know, I wouldn't even have to come around here if you just answered your goddamn phone calls. All right, I'm going to the bathroom. Please try to clean up this mess. Why did you sleep in that disgusting bathroom? Have you once cleaned up this place? It's a pigsty. <sighs> Mother still has to clean after you. What does that say about you? What do you do with your time? I don't understand. You are drinking at 1 p.m. You look nasty. Your place is a filthy mess. Have you once ever tried organizing your house? You know, it make all the world's difference. You know what? Eat the sandwich. The least you could do. Come on. I need a square. I don't even know why I asked you. I know you're broke as hell. Listen, I want to do something tonight. Take me out. Finally! All you do is sulk in this damn apartment. You used to be so fun. I know it's still in there. I can tell. By the way, where's that square you're getting me?
God, you're pathetic. us for dinner. We're making your favorite. You know, your sister misses you. Just clean up this damn place and put some decent clothes on. You, you can let me in. I'm not your mom. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. So what, you don't pick up my calls anymore? You've been busy making yourself some pretty gnarly sandwiches. Yeah. You want to eat one of these? Um. Yeah. All right. Well, let's figure out what you do want to eat. Come on, man. It's been a crazy day. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get out of the house. Good day, Chicago. This is Hardcover News. I'm Kiaria Phillips. And I'm Zayan Moore. Today, we will be discussing the war on drugs. The war on drugs was declared in 1971 by President Nixon. Some believe the drug war reinforces institutional racism by targeting minorities. Teens are greatly impacted by the war on drugs. There are zero tolerance policies that cater to the school to prison pipeline. In 2010, 5,500 arrests were made on CPS students under the age of 18. 75.5 were African Americans, but they only make up 42% of CPS students. Now we'll be taking it to the streets to see how other people feel war about this. War on drugs is a war on the citizens of this country. Um, in my opinion, um, all nonviolent crime should be decriminal decriminalized. They're very uh, misguided. You know, we see a lot of youth and a lot of people of color incarcerated for, you know, life sentences even. Lot, lot, lots of time for really like petty drug crimes. Yeah. A war on drugs makes as much sense as a war on McDonald's. Because there's always going to be McDonald's. There's always going to be a McDonald's restaurant on every side of the corner. Just like there's always going to be a drug dealer on every side of the corner. 
f programs were implemented to maybe get youth off of the streets, it would be a lot easier. Rather than enforcing on the, on the problems, they need to enforce on the solutions. Mm-hmm. And, oh, and I, I believe a lot of the problems, especially with our young people today, is that they don't have enough positive enough positive reinforcement to steer away from the drugs. That's a funny term, at-risk youth, because I think as long as we provide youth with positive opportunities to do things and to grow and to keep them motivated, they're not as at-risk. I feel like if they don't have a role model or a mentor, it's easy for them to go astray. In the lure of the streets, they can make money, and um, that's easier than going to school. I think a lot of money is spent in the prison, prison system, um, keeping adults there, feeding them three meals a day. Um, and then I think there's a lot of businesses that make money off of the people <laughs> that are running the prisons. Restorative justice. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. And I think when we let kids be part of the decision makers in the school, it makes a huge difference in how they feel about themselves. They feel like they have a voice and they can be part of the they can be part of the solution. If it's always the adults that are in charge and they're telling the kids what to do, sit down, be quiet, do this, do this, um, then it kind of creates this prison mentality a little bit because that's what happens in prison. I do think that when students or adults are looking for ways to escape, I think that if we provide positive ways for uh, that escape, if you will, then it'll be more productive for the school and society and everybody in whole. The jury system is a problem. Um, the juries are very often kind of keyed against minorities. Um, I would have more judges trying cases by themselves rather than juries. And then also there are minimum guidelines for sentencing for drug offenders and those should definitely be revised even beyond what they've already been revised. Um, and how would you deal with youth uh, that, that get caught with drugs or get somehow involved with the law? Definitely not prison. They should be going to rehab programs, um, programs that encourage them to you know, get back into school, find jobs, not going to prison for kind of petty offenses. Um, how would you solve these problems? Oh, by getting a new criminal justice system, but I mean that's obviously a big thing. You can't really just do that overnight. Um, I think we have to start by acknowledging the racial disparities um, and talking about why so many people of color are getting put behind bars for, you know, possession of drugs when you see a lot of white youth just kind of walking away. And it's why we know because they can afford better lawyers. And why is the justice system catered towards people with money? We should a stop this war on drugs. And B, I don't mind saying this, we should legalize all drugs. The reason being that I say we should legalize all drugs and tax them is because we have been in a national deficit for I don't know how many years. I think it's like 100 or 200, but we've been in a national deficit. And if all drugs were taxed, we go wipe right by the national debt and just like that. The judicial system is very messed up because we got more, we got more drug dealers in the penal system and not more rapists and not more child molesters. That'll be all today for Hardcover News. Thank you. Thank you to everyone that participated and gave your opinions. Hip hop really helps the community because I mean like it helps people mellow down. Like if I listen to music it helps Violence, I'm in plenty, rest in peace to my girl Jenny. 
Beef we don't want any. That ain't even why God sent me. Too many thugs giving us loves. Whatever happened, they giving out hoods. Shooting and banging, they don't know, duh. Got too tough to show my love. Not too tough to eat my girl. Giving praise to the one above instead of baking all these drugs. Fake baking all these drugs. I ain't a banger, no a drug dealer. Might walk away, but I ain't a punk neither. Back against the wall, you ain't gotta squeeze the trigger. Kids selling drugs for a bigger figure. That's not how to wash it go. Whatever happened to let it grow. Whatever happened to being a mole. Learning, planning, taking it slow. Day by day, so many kids is fading away. What more can I say? Something gotta change. I mean, it's been like this for, for 20, 30 years, so. You can't, you can't just change overnight, so people got to do what they got to do to help do it. If I for their family, or people got to do what they got to do to help not do that. It's all on them. Living in this community, you got a 50-50 chance to, to be good or be bad. It's just the way you take it. We need programs such as this alternative. We need men to be with our young men and to work with them and show them other things. Here at Alternatives, we offer a bunch of different programs. Um, some of the programs are arts programs, hip hop arts, break dancing, mural arts, um, music production. We also have employment programs, helping young people find jobs and work on their job skills. We have girl world programming specifically for young women um, to work together and become leaders in their community. Um, we also have restorative justice programs, which help schools um, work with youth to find alternatives to suspension and things like that and uh, work on peer juries. Alternatives is like a, a positive recreational center where people come and you do what you do, like breaking, uh, DJing, and you know? also if you're here, you're not outside doing crowds. So that's how alternatives help everyone else. I think definitely a lot of communities could use a space like alternative because you know a lot of times you know people get into things because they don't have anywhere to go they don't have a place that allows to express themselves openly and freely I mean, giving, people, giving people an alternative is, is the right start man you know people people come down to basketball down and up break dancing writing rhymes whatever it is man that's, that's one more thing drugs, out of gangs, off the streets, and that kind of thing. So I, mean, I think this is a good, good effort and a good way to kind of hit things, you know, where they start out. You know, I mean, at this point, you can still get to people when they, before they, they, you know, get in that cycle because it's so self-perpetuating. You know, just continue and continue until somebody breaks it. I think a place like Alternatives definitely can uh, help prevent drugs and violence. It helps you find more about yourself and it helps you become have friends so you can stay away from the drugs and the alcohol and you can always depend on your friends here. Everyone's here is like a family. You know, I mean you can do different things here. You don't have to do one thing. Like you can either learn to break dance or you can learn to do graffiti, you can learn to to DJ, you can sample music. Yeah, when you're too busy training for breakdancing, alcohol and drugs just doesn't fit into the picture. You gotta train, you gotta eat healthy. It's, what a lot of people don't realize about breakdancing is like two thirds of it is not breakdancing. Two thirds of it is conditioning and exercise. So when you're spending all your time and energy doing that, alcohol and drugs defeat the purpose. Yeah. You get so involved where you don't even have time to think about stuff like that. I think Alternative does what it can to um, delay the onset of drugs and alcohol. I don't think we are quite getting to the point where we're preventing it because it's happening right outside our doors. So I don't think we're really doing much to prevent it, but delaying it with the youth that we're working with, I think we're doing that. I've seen young people go in here and I see them come out and I see the young people have something other to do than hang the streets. Yes, I think programs like this do a lot for our young people. Uh, I'm a breaker, and uh, honestly, I practice so much, and I have so many things going on that I can't afford to have drugs in my life. We need to get back together, and adults have to take back their children. The city don't need to take our children. We as adults need to take our children back. And in places like Alternative, and they have people that take the children back and take, teach them something other than selling drugs, 
we have to change this moment. And the only way we're going to do this is teach our children that there's something other than selling drugs. When they see the video, it's going to give them like a perspective of what I'm thinking about. Uptown way before Holly Grove. This is acapella just to let you know. We polar bears from the North Pole, like icebergs too cold, would never melt. I done lost my health, but with the Lord I done gained my breath. Whew, some stuff, some stuff, some stuff. You gotta, don't watch me watch TV. Don't do drugs, that's real talking. Go stay in school. It's a party. You're supposed to drink at a party. What is it? It's just something to drink. You want some? Yeah, okay. What about you? Maybe later. Yo, James. What's up? What's up, Duan? Oh, man. Hey, these are my friends, Molly and Alexis. Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, you wanna go to the store with me real quick? Ah, uh, man, I don't feel like moving, man. Uh, Come on, man. Just go to the store anyway. real quick. It's a party. We gonna get up anyway. All right, man. I'll meet you there. All right. Y'all stay here. And relax. Alright. Yeah, he's so cute. I am. I'm tired of dancing with this and everything I got you. Hey, I got the drinks. Oh, why you get drinks for? It's a party. Everyone drinks at parties. I get some water, so I'll take one. Mm. I like it. I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be back. You don't like it? Nope. You want me to go to? Nah, I'm good. Eventually, maybe. 
Oh, there they go right there. Oh, all right. What's, What's up, Jane? What's up? What took y'all so long? Mmm, several. Well, back to the drinks, though. My um, Just try one for like this. Exactly. Oh, my. Oh. Oh my god, ugh. I want another one. Slow down. I swear. <sighs> yep. Whoa. Come on, then. Let's go over there. Yeah. Wait, what y'all See you, Alexis. Yeah. See you. Y'all yeah. uh, yeah. 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 okay. have Okay. Yeah. How's luck? So, what you doing after the party? I don't know. I, I'm so tired. I can go sleep anywhere. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I'm too tired. What y'all do? Hmm? What y'all do?